Hi guys, uh, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm back with uh, another tutorial. Uh, today, uh, this time, I am reviewing Octane Render 2019.2 uh, XB2. Uh, this is the, the better version of the most recent uh, build that they are working on currently. And I wanted to see how much better you know the speed is compared to my and you know render that I've done with uh, the adventures of Nkoza and Nancha. Now in this scene, I have uh, Nkoza Nancha in the grandpa's uh, hut deep in the village, and again I'm, I was trying to go for something that is Afrocentric as much as possible, and the lighting, and what's really impressive is how cool or how fast you know the tra the translation is in the viewport you know uh, not quite real time but pretty fast so what I'm seeing right now in terms of speed I'm getting about um, eight seconds uh, while you uh, setting it to set at uh, 400 samples and I have uh, three GPUs in my you can, let me see if I can focus on that so I can see it okay and uh, I'm <laughs> very impressed, needless to say. I am very, very happy, and I'm looking forward to 2019.2. Um, this is the standalone version, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the plugins, you know, do. This is really, really cool, you know. And you can see the, the kerosene, like, lamp. Well, we call it Tadoba in Uganda. And then over here is the radio that... Uh, grandpa listens to and Nancha is listening to right now so this is one of the episodes where let me see if I can zoom in uh, this is really cool I mean even the once the denoiser kicks in so this is before without the denoiser and down here they re, they've ch not changed it but I think they are referring to it as D main that is the new term for denoising and so if I turn on denoising uh, you can see the improvement in the noise uh, levels of the scene uh, let me see if i can pull it over here so we can see how fast it's uh, cleaning it up so at around eight seconds you can see the quality of the noise has improved now you get those lines from the screen but if i pull back maybe <laughs> that looks better and this is the room again and noise is usually most apparent when you're doing like a depth of field shot. So I was definitely looking forward to seeing how that has improved. I am happy. <laughs> I can't wait for this to become live so I can actually use it. And uh, I'll share more uh, examples of my testing with the uh, adventures of Nkoza Anansha. But boy, uh, this is a big improvement. A big, big improvement in, uh, in terms of uh, the quality and the time it takes to render. Um, there was a time when it, we used to suffer with the ray tracing in uh, you know 3D animation, but uh, with the advent of uh, you know these GPU cards, man, I am I am so glad I'm living at this time and I can dream big and see that uh, actually your you know like when we have a dream, uh, it can come to life without sacrificing your creativity, but being able to um, iterate so that you get a, a sense of what the you know the short film or the episode is gonna look like so thanks again guys um i am impressed and i can't wait uh, if you have uh, used octane before uh, let me know what your thoughts are don't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so you can be alerted when i post a new video uh, and please share i look forward to sharing with you more about uh, octane render this is one of my favorite render engines by the way so and redshift is next all right see you guys in the next video bye bye